Hi, you Evolving Now family. I hope that you've been having an amazing week. I've been waiting for you. I can't wait to do my thought of the week with you today. This week's topic is beating yourself. And I love this topic because the truth is you are the only one that you truly have to win and beat. So first, I want to tell our quote, and then we're going to get into our question of the night. You ready? Here we go. First, they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you. Then you win. Mahatma Gandhi. My question is, who have you had to overcome? Explain. How did you know when you had won? So when I look at this, and I think of this from a personal perspective for me, when I was younger, I thought that my biggest person that I had to overcome was other people. And I played football for a long time. So whether that person was an opposition as a coach, uh, whether it was a insignificant other, a girlfriend, you know, it was all of these people, all of these forces, because we all have opposing forces around us all the time. And now I remember some turnaround moments for me when I was younger. You know, I had a coach that was just riding me, riding me, riding me. Now, I was in college at this time. I was a senior. I was a linebacker. And at that time, it was a lot of pressure to be first in line. You had to lead and you do all these things. And I enjoyed the challenge. But I remember this coach just yelling my name, yelling my name, yelling my name. And one time, I went to the coach and I said, why are you always riding me? And his response was something I'll never forget. He said, son, the day I stop calling your name, is the day you need to worry. And it stood out for me because it was like that light bulb that went off. That everything isn't always what you think or I think it is. The fact that he was calling my name for him meant that he was concerned. He saw potential. He saw that I can be better. He wanted to push me and motivate me. And as, if he wasn't speaking my name, if he wasn't sharing that, then that was a problem. And I know I've taken that to my relationships as friends, uh, you know, and, and intimate relationships. If I'm talking about an issue that's important, that helps us to evolve, I care. When I was younger, I remember when you stop caring, you stop talking. So that always stood out for me. And thanks, coach. You know, the other thing that stood out was in relationships. You know, when I was younger, I used to feel like I had to overcome whether the adversities or the personality on the other side of being in an intimate relationship. And that's not always true. The biggest thing that I found that in the person that I had to overcome was myself, and it's going to be yourself too. With all of the thoughts that we have in our head that are unhelpful, hurtful, damaging, insecure, you name it, we are our biggest enemies. And the day that you decide to go to war with you and you win is your evolving day. So what do I mean by that? I look at my personal story. I remember being good at sports. And that's where I define myself. And so many athletes, and this is why we have our athletic division working with athletes on college campus, because I was that. I was an athlete. But I had no other concept of what it meant to be a person, me as Andre, me as a young man, me as a student, a brother, a son. So I had no self-concept of that. So being an athlete, having a name, uh, being visible allowed me to get intimate relationships um, or have interest. But it didn't allow me to keep anything because I was so unaware of myself. And how many times does that happen in relationships? You are unaware. You meet another, another unaware person. You stand at the altar. You promise yourselves to each other what was supposed to happen. Maybe that's in your relationship now. You don't feel fulfilled, but this person is going to fill that hole and I'll be okay. But when that person gets tired or exhausted, well, who are you? And we're back to square one. So how do you win the war against you? You first have to acknowledge, accept, decide, and do. That's the four-step process to you winning the war and overcoming you. Acknowledge. Acknowledge 
who you are, where you are, and why you are where you are. Unapologetically, with no shame, no guilt, this is who I am, this is my life situation, and this is where I am. And you got to accept that. Don't be in denial about it. You got to accept it. You know, and that's pretty much standing unclothed and bearing yourself to the world and saying, this is who I am. This is where I am. Now, you have to decide. What are we going to do about you? What are you going to do about you? What's the plan to move forward? One step in front of the other, whether you go slow, fast, big, small, leaps, bounds, tiny baby steps, forward and onward. And then you got to do it. And you do it every day. And some of the things that have been implemented in my life and hopefully into yours and other successful people is learning about what you want to be great about. Learn about your craft. Learn about the things that you want. Balance your day. Book in your day with some positivity. Be around people that are motivating and not bobbleheads or negative. Be about your drive and your evolution every day. Speak positive with construction talk about your life your job, your significant other, and most importantly, you and your dream. And you will win the war against you. So I want to share these questions with you. And when I read this, I want you to think about the question, but most importantly, live your answer. So here's your question for the night. Who have you had to overcome? Explain. How did you know when you won? Have you ever beaten yourself? Explain. Do you know your partner's answer? Do you know your kid's answer? Asking them is your homework because they have an answer. And that's a powerful question to get an answer to. So guys, thank you for tuning in. I love stealing your time today. And uh, check out youevolvingnow.com with all of my personal growth, relationship growth, and overall lifestyle enrichment content there. Become a member if you're not a member and you're hearing this for the first time. Share this with somebody else and enjoy your evolution. Thanks so much. Have a fantastic day. Happy evolving.